Good everyone, Jonathan Mathis, the sports judge. How's everyone doing this morning? Hope all is well. Everything is better than what it was last night. Last night was a frustrating one. Um, Last night, and I will be honest, I was so angry that my head could have could have exploded. Um, that's how incensed I was with the Dodgers last night. I felt like this was a pivotal game, one that they needed to kind of shift momentum. Going back with the series, going back to L.A., it didn't happen. Um, you already suffered a momentum killer in game one when Austin Riley provided the walk-off hit, who has been, you know, remarkable for the the Braves in this series. I was hot last night. I, I literally could have came on here and ranted, and it wouldn't have been pretty. You, you would have seen another side of me. It would have been like when I used to rant about USC and Lane Kiffin back in the day. It wouldn't have been pretty at all. You would have seen you would have seen the angry side of Jonathan, not the nice, generous, you know, kind, um, you know, fun, loving Jonathan. Right now you get a calm Jonathan who's on the positive side this morning. He woke up on the positive side of the bed, although he's still not over what occurred in last night's game. Now, there are so many different things that Dave Roberts could have done in last night's game. I just feel like he blew it for the Dodgers. And I went off last night. I called for the man's job. I said he should be fired. There's no way Dave Roberts is getting fired when this team won a World Series last year. There's just no way that's happening. I went off and said that the Dodgers should just leave him in Atlanta. Do not let him board the plane. I don't understand for the life of me why Dave Roberts does some of the things he does. Like, he tries to get too cute with the bullpen. He gets too fancy. And that's what we saw last night in last night's game. Now, there was no way when I saw Julio Urias warming up, I said, and I even posted it on my social media. I said, this is interesting. Julio Urias had not been used in this situation all year. He, he, he hadn't come in in the eighth inning. So why all of a sudden are you calling to your bullpen and handing the ball, giving the ball to Julio Urias in high leverage situations. Why, Dave Roberts? Why? On short days, rest at that. Now, to me, the Dodgers could easily be up two games to none. And they should be up two games to none. There's no way they should be down in this series 0-2 to the Atlanta Braves coming back to L.A. There's just no way. I think you should have went with Gratterall in that situation in the eighth inning. Maybe the Dodgers would have preserved the lead and they would have come out with the victory. Because the game was 4-2 in the eighth inning after Chris Taylor made up for his poor base running in game one that cost the Dodgers as well. Well, last night, Chris Taylor made up for it with an extra base hit. And that drove in a pair of runs. After the ball got by, Atlanta Braves center fielder. I can't pronounce his name, so I'm not even going to try it. The ball got by him in center. And that allowed two runners to score, and that made the game 4-2. to two. All the fireworks suddenly went off for the Dodgers. But then, 
the game took a turn for the worse. You once again saw a major turn of events. Look, we all know Max Swerser wasn't himself last night. You know, Dodgers co-ace. He's been lingering, you know. I, he, you know, he's been suffering from lingering fatigue. It, it seems like, uh, you know, go back to the NLDS when, you know, they had to use him constantly in that series to pull it out against the Giants. If you remember, he threw 110 pitches in game three against the Giants. And then picked up the series clinching safe on two days rest. So he wasn't himself. And Dave Roberts, you know, uh, took it upon himself to push him uh, to game two. But, you know, he lacked command. Um, you know, his he didn't have his best stuff in last night's game. Um, and just didn't look good. Just didn't look good at all. And, of course, the former Dodger of all Atlanta Brave players took Max deep, you know. And, you know, those folks out there are loving that. They're, they're calling it Jocktober in um, Atlanta this year. And, you know, Peterson took them deep. Um, I believe it was Peterson's third homer of the 2021 postseason. And his 12th career playoff home run, you know. And, um, I mean, that home run uh, went the distance, too. It, it went 454 feet, you know. So, Max just wasn't his dominant self. And, you know, he didn't have his best stuff. The Dodgers were able to take advantage of Ian Anderson, whose first inning woes continued. Um... You know, and the Dodgers jumped on the Braves early. Corey Seager hit a two-run home run that gave the Dodgers a 2 nothing lead early. And I feel like, I said this yesterday too, I feel like when the Dodgers jump out early, they usually win. That wasn't the case last night. Because they let the Braves, you know, come back. And they let the Braves take the game from them. And now this series is slowly slipping away from them. And I understand there's a lot of Dodger fans out there who still have faith, still believe in this team. Hell, I do too. But I don't like what I've what I've seen in game 2. I don't like how Dave Roberts is trying to get too cute. You don't use Julio Urias in that situation. Now game 1, the Dodgers should have won because the, pull, the bullpen was sensational. The bullpen did its work. Corey Knebel, Phil Bigford, Joe Kelly. Those guys really held it down for the Dodgers. And there's no telling how the series would be if Freddie Freeman wasn't struggling. Because he doesn't even look like himself. You know, he's the Braves' best hitter. He's a power hitter. And he went 0 for 4 with four strikeouts in game one against the Dodgers. And in game two, he struck out in his first three trips to the plate. So the hope is that he doesn't get going because if he gets going, then that could change the complexion of the series. The Dodgers are in the world of trouble again, but I'm not going to count them out. Yes, I was angry yesterday. Yes, I said stuff that I, you know, probably didn't mean. Because my emotions were running high at the time, and I was angry. The Dodgers were six outs away from tying this series at 1-1. Things could have been a lot different for the Dodgers, but it wasn't. And so, once again, the Braves celebrate another walk-off. And Eddie Rosario was just on fire last night. 
You know, I feel like he's been the Dodgers Achilles heel. heel. And, of course, you have Austin Riley, who's peaking at the right time as well. Probably an underrated player. Has shown up in this series as well. But the Dodgers need to come home. Now that the series comes back to Dodger Stadium and they, it, it, it's time to start winning games. Okay, now they now it's the take one game at a time approach. So you got to try to win game three, focus on that one first, then game four, game five. Because those three games, the next three games are here in Los Angeles. So we'll see what happens. But right now, the Dodgers are in a heap of trouble and they're going to have to try to, you know, Hopefully, uh, turn things around before it's too late. Maybe they'll have a chance to reverse their fortune. We'll see. We'll see what happens in in a day or two with this Dodger team. And they can't keep leaving runners on base. I'm getting tired of that too. Stop leaving runners on base. Score. Manufacture some runs. Put the ball in play. Move the runners over. Drive in some runs. Don't always rely on the home run ball. Just move the runners over and score. And and our bullpen has to be able to preserve the lead, but it preserve the lead, but it also starts with Dave Roberts making the right decisions. Making the right calls to the bullpen. Once again, Dave Roberts is under criticism. Once again, people are calling for his job. Once again, people are upset with him. Because he continues to make some of the dumbest decisions. He he has you scratching your head like, what the heck are you doing? It's a WTF move. Like, sometimes I wonder what, what's going through that man's head. You know, like what make you do what made you bring in Julio Urias in the eighth inning when you hadn't used him in that situation all year long? What made you do something like that? Why did you get too cute? On, and he's on short days rest. And you're gonna need him for game games four, games five. I'm I'm guessing Walker Bueller's pitching game three. If if he is, please let me know. But Dave Roberts, again, trying to get too fancy. And it cost the Dodgers. Got to try it again Tuesday night. See what happens tomorrow in L.A. I'll talk to you guys later. You guys take care. Have a wonderful day. Happy Monday. And before I go, I just want to remind everyone to please subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you, guys. For watching. I really appreciate it. And don't forget about our show. On Wednesdays and Fridays. Just Say the Truth. Part of the ASAP Network. You can find us at ASAP website. And you can also find us on Facebook. And Instagram. And you can also stay in touch with me as well. On Facebook. Sports Judge. 85, well, Jonathan Mathis, the sport, the sports judge. The fan page is called The Sports Judge. You can't miss me. I'm a cartoon character. You can also follow me on Instagram, SportsJudge85. And you can follow me. You can also follow me. I'm going blank here on Twitter. I'm not very active there. Sports Judge 85 as well. You guys have a good day. Take care.